Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So just a few days ago, I reviewed uh, NECA's Michael Myers from Halloween 2, 1981. And uh, it's very fitting to see what was on my porch just this morning. That's right, the other Halloween sequel, um, the quarter scale bad boy. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah guys, let's check it out. So based on my current desk situation, these quarter scale guys are a little bit hard to review for obvious reasons. So let's start out with the box and maybe I might raise my desk up and uh, talk about him. But here he is in the box and pretty awesome. So you can see right here, there's some words. It says, it's been 40 years since Laurie Strode survived a vicious attack from crazed killer Michael Myers on Halloween night. She now faces a terrifying showdown when Michael returns to Haddonfield, to Haddonfield, Illinois. But this time, Lori is ready for him. If you guys seen the movie, you know exactly what that means. But check out, man, check out Michael on the back here. That is awesome. And that knife is absolutely huge. And there on the bottom, it shows all the accessories that he comes with. But that's enough of the box. Let's take him out. All right, so it took a little bit of work to get him out of the box, but he's finally out and check him out guys uh just over 18 inches tall holy crap and of course we've seen the 2018 michael myers before just in much smaller form just a little over seven inches and he's right here and of course i'm gonna put those guys side by side a little later in this video but let's check him out a little bit closer so i want to tilt up a little bit so we can get a better look at his face and Check out the detail on this mask. I've always liked the look of this Michael Myers uh, from the 2018 Halloween film. I just love the look of the uh, William Shatner mask that Michael Myers wears in this film. And look at the detail in the hair there. That's fantastic. I love that actually. Wow, that's pretty cool. And of course, from the 2018 movie, sporting that 1980s pop collar look but you can see right there let me see if i can zoom in i'm a little close but can you guys see his white eye there might be kind of hard to see right there so they got that pretty accurate with his white eye and right there this is normal eye there this is great look how whoop, look how creepy he looks here if you can take a look at the rest of his jumpsuit here his coveralls very, very familiar. He looks just like he did with the the, um, the seven inch ultimate figure. Turn around to the back and check this out. He's got that same crease that all of them seem to have. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Um, a few days ago, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I did the, the, uh, the Halloween 2 1981 Michael Myers, which is fantastic by the way. I was comparing bodies and yeah, he has the same little crease back there. And so does the Ultimate Myers from 2018. All right, guys, so there's this close-up right there. So I'm gonna start talking about him in a little more detail here. All right, so yes, he is made of all hard molded plastic, except for his uh, popped collar right here, but everything else is hard molded, but they always seem to have a little bit of softness right here in the abdomen area. Look at the detail in his hand. I can take these off, because he does come with three extra hands here. It's just a peg but look at the detail in his hands here look at this check that out this looks great and they do not skimp on the blood here we got that nice glossy red blood on his hands as he should let's put his hand back on and take a look at his second hand here that he comes with and once again focus there we go look look at the creases in his hand i absolutely love what they do with these quarter scale um, NECA figures because, oh my God, that is so gruesome. Check out the veins and the blood on this. This one's absolutely great. It looks like, if you guys can see, right there dead center, 
It looks like his hands are like a pinkish color than right here. They might have missed a little pink there. You see that? It's kind of an off color. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that or if that's just a mistake by them, but it looks like he has the same color all around except for right there where the blood's supposed to be. And then as we go down to his feet here on the bottom of his pants, kind of soft down here too. So it's really hard all the way up to this point right here, right where his pants meet the boots. And check out the boots, by the way. These head stomping boots from Michael Myers, hell yeah. And of course, the bottom, they still give us uh, the peg holes, which I'm not really sure if you need it with this guy. He's pretty easily stood up, as you can see. Even if I did use one of those stands to help uh, stand him up from his feet, I don't think it's gonna matter. He's just so big and heavy. Um, I don't think one of those stands are gonna help. But his boots are so wide, I don't think you're gonna have any issue standing this guy up. All right, so now let's go over articulation. All right, so let's start with his head here. So we do have quite a range of motion in his head here. So we can look up pretty nice. Come on, focus. And look down, focus. And that's our look down motion. But then my favorite part is they always give us some really nice head tilt. Look at this, this is fantastic. He looks absolutely great, look at that. So nice head tilt motion as expected and then we can spin his head exorcist style all the way around. All right, so let's check out his shoulders. So we have some nice range of motion there. Can almost get completely horizontal. And then of course we can swivel up, down, all around any way we want to. Looks like we have a double jointed elbow right there. And him being so big, over 18 inches tall. You can have a nice view of that double joint right here. Yeah, right here, very nice. And then usually with the double jointed elbows, you have nice swivel motion in his upper elbow and his lower elbow here. And then you go down to his wrist and let's check that out. A nice hinge on his wrist and then we can do the normal spin around and that's on both hands and just like his seven inch ultimate counterpart he doesn't have any body articulation nothing in the waist nothing in the upper torso but if we go down to his legs here the ratchet there we go wow the ratchety sound they need to do that to keep this guy standing up right but that's not a bad split that's loud and then check him out. If Michael Myers wants to be a gymnast, he's not gonna have any issues there. And we have a single joint in his knees. Pretty stiff, wow, holy crap. Pretty stiff in his knees there, but there we go. And then let's check out some boot articulation. You can point down to about right there. See if there's a nice rocker in there, which there is. Look at that, very nice. And then we can spin. <laughs> well, we can spin his knees all the way around, but let's get his boots all the way around. There we go. Very cool. So talking about his head here, I mean, if you can get a close up, I'm gonna get a close up of his head here. And then let's put him over here. And then right over here, I'm gonna put a shot of him from the movie. And you guys can make your own decision if he's movie accurate or not. I'm saying they're right on the money. NECA has been absolutely killing it with these Michael Myers um, masks. I thought the 1981 version looked movie accurate. I mean, I couldn't believe how close he looked to the movie. And um, I don't think this one is any different. But let's put him off to the side here and let's talk about excess accessories. All right, guys, let's start with his hands. I already showed you the two stock hands that he comes with. This is one of his alternate left hands here. And the same deal. They look great. And this one has the blood right here on top of his hand. And yeah, I don't know, maybe I was wrong, but it just looks a little off with the color up top here. I'm not sure if that's intentional or what. You guys let me know if you guys do have this uh, brand new Michael Myers, if yours is like this too, I'm just curious if other guys, um, other guys have this discoloration. And then the second one, another alternate left hand. Check that out, more blood, which I'm super happy about. Look at this. <laughs> this hand looks great. I cannot say enough about the sculpt on his hands here. I'm really happy with this. And then let's check out his third hand here. And this is the one where he's missing a few fingers. 
and check this out man that looks gruesome you can see his skin is torn off right there we can see some tendon some muscle very nicely painted here very nicely sculpted holy crap that is gruesome this is really cool that they gave us this hand with the set but they also gave us the same one just in much smaller form with the seven inch and now the two weapons that he comes with a very bloodied up hammer and i really like this one you can see the nice wood grain on the handle here see that in the light and then go on to the hammer head and lots of blood and as you guys know i love it when they load these things up with gore and blood because michael myers is a serial killer this is what he uses to kill people with don't just show me a weapon or a hammer or a sword or a kitchen knife or a cleaver or a spear or a machete with no blood on it this is from the movie he kills people with it so they gave us blood and i absolutely love it and then the gigantic kitchen knife that he comes with and this thing is huge yeah i mean in his hand here it looks great look at that so it's got to be this thing has got to be three inches long at least they did give us tons of blood on it let me push this back down I got a little tape residue I try to get off of there, but they just pack the heck out of these things when you get it in the box. But um, the handle looks great. The sculpt looks great on this. The paint job looks great. They gave us blood. I absolutely love it. And then onto the last accessory that they gave us, the victim head straight from the movie. And look at this. This is nightmare inducing. Holy crap, look at that. This looks fantastic. So a hollowed out head here. So that's really cool. And if we get a little closer, this thing is gruesome. Look at that. So even up into the mouth here, they got a nice sculpt on the teeth and just the torn skin. And this is crazy. Check that out. So they gave us the same head with the uh, the seven inch ultimate Michael Myers. I'm gonna take him out and I'm gonna compare these two right now. Here's the seven inch victim head and here is the uh, quarter scale victim head. You can see just because it's bigger, they were able to get much more detail on the bigger one. As cool as the small one is, they couldn't get too much detail on here. Let me try to get a better look there. You can see, does he have that same, he does. He's got that same little cut in the back of his neck there going up into his hairline and then let's look this way wow this way so yeah so even on this side so if i get closer on this side you can see the little x mark right there you can barely see it on this uh the seven inch head and you can see it close up right there I can't get enough of this. This is absolutely frightening. All right, so now let's talk about the accessories we didn't get with the quarter scale Myers that we did get with the uh, the seven inch ultimate character. The jack-o'-lantern, the light up jack-o'-lantern is one of them. And I'm kind of wondering why we didn't get a quarter scale jack-o'-lantern that lit up like this. That would have been great. And once again, I, I just think NECA misses the boat on certain things. Uh, the 1981 Michael Myers I just did a few days ago um, they had the break open jack o lantern with the skull and I kind of wish they put the LED like they did with this one. I'm just pointing out, I nitpick a lot with these. I always want a little bit more, even though NECA gives us a lot. But look at this. The Judith Myers stone. So this would have been a great accessory to get with the quarter scale. They've given us four hands, but right here, there's the hammer and there's the knife but the fire poker. So that's another missing thing we got with the seven inch, even though I don't think we need this extra head with the quarter scale guy, but he did come with the seven inch, but the two things I wanted the most, light up jack-o'-lantern and the Judith Myers headstone. And just to give you a scale difference between the quarter scale and the ultimate seven inch, check this out. I mean, he barely reaches <laughs> <laughs> the top of his legs here just a little bit over his knees so as cool as he is just pales in comparison to size obviously you can see the differences here 
so yeah they just get so much more detail in the quarter scale figures because they have a lot more room to work with and then talking about his suits here if i turn it around this is what i want to show you guys this little crease that seems to be on every single one of them and there's the crease right there on the seven inch and it's also on the 1981 version of michael myers and it's on the uh Friday the 13th part five imposter Roy Burns figure because they just reused the body. So they just basically took this guy here and did a honey, I blew up the kids and boom, this is what we get. All right guys, this is pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the brand new quarter scale Michael Myers from the 2018 Halloween sequel? If you're a NECA collector and a horror fan, obviously he's a must have. Um, he's about $119. Um, if that comes down, I have no idea, but usually these quarter scale guys don't come down. They go up in price. Um, I'm not sure of the availability on him, but I got him from the Amazon store, the NECA's Amazon store. I will leave an affiliate link in my description box below to the NECA Amazon store if you guys want to pick him up. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!